Okay, good morning. It's still morning, and there's still 45 minutes left to trade. And I'm scalping the euro dollar on, on about a one hour time frame of just the uh, kind of the swing up and down. And right now I'm selling the top of this. And here's the daily. And trying to forecast the market because I guess that's what people do these days. And um, this is a real easy tool where you're not going to need any math or any um, any kind of calculations that are too. You can it's just a visual type of geometric projection, so you don't need any math skills or anything. Of course, it you know you could do it with math. So what I did was here I put up a chart of a of a teals are 100 pips. Right, but I made them really fat, so that is actually about a 20 pip window of price because these are 10 pips on the black. So it's real. I'm looking for the euro dollar to go to this is going to take a while, but we're going to 116. Uh, this is going to take a while, so it's probably going to be a long Of course. It could be very quick, we could go up in six days straight up, and this is a Another forex pattern, I guess it's any market pattern, but it seems more prominent in forex when you get a hesitation here and literally go down for 400 pips. And there's this big um, window up here just waiting to get, just itching to get filled, right? So, uh, and we, if, we, if we break out on close here, of course, it still may have to consolidate. A little bit but this is one of those moves where there is no hesitation and um, and things just happen lickety split lickety split and it's just it's cruel because um, people want to want to uh, they have a vision of how it's gonna unfold and of course this is my vision based on previous uh, versions of this now if I want to be more conservative I could copy this and drag it over and now I can make a um, with this same uh, channel I can project a more a more um, kind of tamer projection now this price pulse here hung off the highest close within gave us this target which coincides to this um, double top here right? so this is the big this is the big deal precision double top we project up into it with this tool off that top so the market's building its own stairway and we don't need to go past um, for all the um, Elliott wave people, I would say one, two, three. <clears throat> one, the first move, two, the pullback, three. Uh, here's the Elliott wave, zero. Here's zero. <clears throat> this is one. This is two pullback. Three is the biggest wave. Now we go into consolidation. But the consolidation may be very tight like this. So if this is. Um, See, how would you do the Elliott wave count here? It's not easy. It's like more like one, two, three, four, five. What will you do with this? You can't worry about that. Because Elliott should have six waves. <laughs> Just saying. Um, so now look at this uh, projection. To fill this vacuum to the north, and then we can put the next uh, vacuum layer in here, which is when it took out this double bottom back in January. That's the other uh, window. But we would have to wait for a pullback to hang the... Uh, we'd have to have it close and close up. So it still has to close up today. But if you have this in your rearview mirror, and then you want to be more conservative, you go to the four-hour chart, and now you can look for the entries here. And the, the, what's going on here is a little more dynamic, but I think it's less risky. Um, 
At least you can identify this pullback here where you didn't see any pullback like that available on the daily at that point in time. There was no, you know, this this pullback here is is the swing high here from Friday and then coming all the way back. But this is the kind of stampede, this is kind of the way the markets, you know, this can go into overbought mode now for like uh, 10 weeks, okay? And that's how you blow up your account. If you're selling overbought, overbought's meaningless. Overbought maybe for a five-minute chart and you're going to scalp that thing. But, but geez, you know, I, I always, always, my mind's always boggled by every time I read somebody's uh, and, and, and how they would forecast the market. Well, I think if as long as you got tight stops, you can be wrong all day long and make money. I don't think I don't think it's the directions the problem because you could have bought and sold this thing all day today. If you go to the half hour chart, um, look at all these trades in here. And these are these are auction trades. These are the these are the juicy, um, just get a feeling of satisfaction immediately, right? Now here was this where everybody had their stop. You got a five pip, you got a ten pip risk there, and you just made how many pips? And just uh, watching this thing on ten rules that ninety five percent of traders rules rules because of ten things that happen to them. Well. Gosh, the first thing you had on there was get rich quick. Well, yeah, you can get rich very quick if you're on the right side of the market. And if you do get rich quick, you're thinking, well, this is easy, and you jump back in. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, if you're used to making, um, working all day and making the same flat rate, and then you come into the Forex market and you just made $1,000 and you just lost 2000 then you just made 10000 then you just lost 40000 So... You know, if you can handle those kind of numbers right, because um, the, when the market does one of these auction moves down into here, and then it goes ripping north, so even on close, if you got in, right? So you get even on close, and then you're always looking for, every time you see a bottom, um, the pullback after the bottom. If this is really a bottom, say this is, in other words, if you, you know, what the, you can see the bottom, right? Everybody, you, you can't pick a bottom. Well, yeah, sure you can. Here's a bottom, here's a bottom, here's even here's a bottom right now. So that's the, the latest bottom, right? So we just put an order down there. So if, if we come back to retest that later, um, I would have an order here to buy and just stack them up, right? Top became a bottom perfectly on the half hour stairway. If you had to buy uh, here, Right. And then you and then you could you see you know this bottom exists so you put a buy there because you're going to get in on that fractal on the upside. Now I'm looking for the pullback. I'm looking for it to come all the way back into this um, kind of come back across the street because it's like a squirrel running across the street and it gets scared and runs back home. So your your the the trick here is that you want to be able to sell at the curb line. You're getting in at the curb, and as this thing scampers across the road. He does turn back a few times because he's he gets a little scared. So it comes back to this major pivot, and that's only you can only see that in the range of the thing. But if you're building structures like this, you would know that this is the critical discount window of just a you know that's like a three pip window. That's a three pip window. You've got a, um, a flat bottom, which is almost like a double bottom. If you went to the 15, I'm sure it's a double bottom. So how thin do you want to slice this? You slice it 15 minutes is probably, well, that's about as thin as you can slice it. And at least you're only uh, losing five pips, making five pips, but you can totally trade this time frame. But this is one of those days where this may be the only pullback you see. And then we're just going to go zooming up. So I think we are going zooming up. So, um, but we're probably going to come zooming back first, right? No, but it doesn't matter because as long as you're, as long as you have tight stops, and if you're, if you got in back here, at this pullback here, and even if you put a buy stop there, you still made this with a, with a high probability that that was going to happen. I mean, just who couldn't see it coming, right? You have all day and you have like uh, all year to get to your terminal 
and draw this line and print it out. You're never going to, how are you going to miss this? Double top, another top, major swing top, baby top, breaks out. And you could come back to this line, never did. So if you are looking for that entry, you're going to swing it here to this top. And as, it, as the market marches up, you're going to swing it to the last known low. And just print that out and put that on the wall. And you can see that coincides with this double bottom became this top, became this top, top, top. So that looks like a nice place for it to um, come back to as far as it's taking a breath of air. And the market is really kind of just, you're watching something breathing because it can't, catch its breath necessarily um and and here's your uh, sell zone this double bottom here but we already sold there earlier on friday because so we went up into this thing on friday this is the uh, sell here this double bottom internally of course this is a, this is a daily chart so these are really hard pivots this isn't like uh you know this is no um four hour like who's your broker this is hard, and it, so to hear it doesn't seem like, you know, in about four days, right, five days. If you got the patience, I don't. But if you got the patience, I'd rather scalp this. Uh, if this thing can power plunge into the top right here, well, this afternoon we're gonna see. I think we're gonna we're gonna come up in here and sweep back, because you get it near the close of the day. So in the half hour world. I'm looking to sell all the way into this bottom. So as we come smashing up, um, and they're taking out the the bear stops, the people that think it's still in a downtrend, right? They just took them out there. So this could be the breakout pullback. So you're going to want to get in uh, just below that, right? So it looked like um, put your order like there, and then uh, that's if you want to go. You still want to you still think we're going up and if you think that we're um going down i think you want to get in at these insane prices up here so that's what i did i put all my orders up in this trap zone here because i think that it's going to bounce off of this internal but i do think in in the end we're going we're going after this but you know how do you get there how much breathing room how much does this market have to inhale and exhale to climb the climb out of this pit? It's pretty aggressive selling up into this. So I'm not selling this until we get way up in. So this is a different setup. And this is a uh, this is a four hour chart. But this it's more a little more work than a than a uh because if you print this stuff out, I think I'm always deleting, so I'll definitely want to print it out. Uh probably not color, you know. You could just do line charts. You know, when you get used to looking at line charts, you never, you'll never. Well, I don't say never, but a candle's like too much of a story. It's just telling you too much. Where this is so clean that I mean, I, I think I could get a three-year-old to to find the uh, peaks and valleys, the mountaintops and the uh, valleys. Okay, so here comes the big pullback. I hope, and then. If it can come back to this, um, where they just clobbered all these guys just a little bit ago, some news came out, and they just rammed this thing back so hard into here. And uh, wow, what a great scalp that was. That was instant money. That was 20 pips instant money, and you didn't have to even be there. You could have actually looked at this zone here and said, let me put a crop of orders down there and walk away, and just, you know, I mean, geez, yeah, you can make money very quickly. But you also lose it very quickly. Because if you had no stop and you were told this was in a downtrend, somebody's told you, you know, you believe somebody that this is in a downtrend. Can you imagine how much how much money you could lose on a uh, when the market's doing a counter move? I mean, it's it's unbelievable. It's terrible. It's a terrible amount of, of uh, wins and losses there. It kill you.